I do all my own watering, so I know exactly what's going on in every part of the garden. I know this garden well. I've, I've been here for 50 years. A garden is a place where you can actually control every damn thing that goes on in, in there. It's put together very, very carefully, piece by piece, step by step. I've been accused of being a control freak. Fungal diseases. You can't control your family. You can't control love. I can't control what's going on with the traffic or the building or the politics. But I can, to some measure, control this. So that's where the control comes in. To do something I couldn't do with my children, for instance. Control them. That was impossible. There's the Betty Corning. Whole wall of it. When we first moved in yep. here, it was wall to wall weeds and I carved out a little place for myself and it was a form of privacy. We had all these kids so the idea of the garden as a retreat was embedded in me as a very young mom. I didn't want anybody to touch it. I became the controlling hand. So what you see here now is my hand having been controlling this small bit of land for a half a century. My whole attitude towards gardens shifted radically in middle age. It became a necessary tool of survival. I remember somebody saying to me, I hear you're really gardening a lot. You must be either turning 50, menopausal, or the kids have left home. And I said, two out of three. I was a journalist, which means you're at the whim of everybody around you. But I got to the point where I was so sick of hearing from self-absorbed businessmen. I thought, I'd rather write about plants. They don't talk back. I started buying cameras and taking pictures of the garden, which eventually developed into doing books. And during the period where I was writing all of these books, I've written 14, the garden shifted in its meaning to me. It became my library, my teacher. It became part of a life force that was very, very different from anything else in my life. I used to joke with my kids as I want to be incinerated and then just throw me around for slug bait. And they, they used to think that was not funny, Mom. Now I'm in my 80th year. Now they're saying, well, where do you want to be scattered? <laughs>